This game here looks pretty cool, right? Unfortunately, it will never be finished. Unfortunately, after having worked on this project for over a year, I will never be finishing it. It's been a year ago since I last worked on it, but I've decided now it's time to officially cancel the project and also make a record of it. So I have evidence that it even happened in the first place. Cancelling a project is one of the most difficult parts of game dev. It's hard to admit to yourself when you've made a mistake. However, in doing so, I have freed myself up to pursue other projects with renewed knowledge and skills. The project was envisioned to be an FPS roguelike, as if it was the child of doom mixed with the Binding of Isaac or say the end to the Gungeon. However, despite the project never coming to see the light of day, I learnt lots and have made some things I'm genuinely quite proud of within it. The biggest for me is the art. Stubbornly during development, I refused to use assets I hadn't made by myself as I wrongly viewed it as cheating. As such, I had to create a lot of art, and a lot of art to a standard that I never tried to create before for a game. As such, everything you see here was modelled by me and animated by me over the course of many, many hours. Through the process of creating these assets, I learned so much about the process, and it is that knowledge I have taken with me in why I, my current game is low poly and adopts assets from the asset store to speed up development. Ultimately, making a game is more important than having a perfect one, even if you have to swallow some of your pride in the process. I'm also very proud of some of the systems that I programmed for the game, most notably the system for randomly generating levels. The random level generator I created is something I see as relatively unique, as most roguelites only work in a 2D plane without verticality. Furthermore, 3D roguelites often adopt a grid-based approach to simplify generation. However, I managed to devise my own algorithm, which is able to generate following a template in any way, horizontal, vertical, and with any shaped rooms, whether they be circles, hexagons, or any other. Another part that I was quite pleased with is, although the enemies are dumb, they have a fully destructible limb system allowing partial and full dismemberment. This then affects the way they behave depending on how their limbs have been changed. I was quite proud of the system and I aim to use knowledge from it in my current game. Unfortunately, the project is never meant to be. I stupidly ignored the pre-planning stage and was blind to the fact that the scope was too large for someone who could only work part-time on the game. Furthermore, being the first big project, I still had a lot to learn and as such made many mistakes along the development that came back to bite my ass. For example, many systems are not modular and hard-coded, as such adding new content became a huge chore. My evolving skills throughout the project are quite evident when I compare some of the early weapon models to those I made towards the end of development. Quite a large improvement and through the project I learned and improved in so many ways. Hopefully my current project does not turn out like this one and instead I'm able to complete it in the coming years. I should have another video updating on the progress of it soon. Mm -hmm.